Hey folks, this is Doug again doing a video um, around ServiceNow classifiers. For some reason, recently I've been hearing a lot about the new Windows 22, uh, newish Windows 22 operating system and if ServiceNow supports it and those sorts of things. So I want to walk us through the process of when you do come across new operating systems that our friend Bill may release, how easy it is to add new classifiers and not have to wait for ServiceNow um, to go through the process of getting it out of box. So the first order of business is our challenge. You know, it's not uncommon that, you know, Bill releases 2022, 2050, whatever the next OS is, before ServiceNow officially puts them out of box. You know, they release them and then slowly they get, you know, built into your ecosystem and now they're the primary OS. Next thing you know, ServiceNow, where's our, where's our support for them? Well, the good news is that you can just add Windows classifiers because the technology in discovering Windows systems really has doesn't change over the years. Uh, so you can add a new classifier while waiting for ServiceNow to get your items into the CMDB um, without having, again, to wait. You know, some of the things we're going to look at is using the debug log to understand how the process works a little bit. And then... Also to understand that, you know, eventually 2022 is going to come out and it's going to be updated in your instance and you're going to want to uh, make the manipulations to go back to completely out of box. So let's just get to the to the bottom line and start doing it. Um, first thing first, I'm going to bring us over here to our development world. And the very, very first thing I want to you folks to understand is to don't wait. Just try. If you're curious about if ServiceNow supports something, sure, you're going to go to the docs page. You're going to look at how those, um, if it's listed in there. And if it's not, don't freeze up. Just have a go at it and try to discover it with credentials, of course, and see what happens. And then you can make the manipulations to your discovery processes as you see fit to help achieve that. So, Hearing that everybody has all these questions about 2022, I had my good teammates spin me up a 2022 host, and I just discovered it. And as we see here, it was discovered wonderfully because credentials, it's Windows, but the one thing that stands out is it's a computer. Now, folks would say, oh, wait a minute, this is a server, it's not a computer, ServiceNow is broke. It isn't, it just started with doing what it knows. So when I look at this operating system, I say, okay, what are the key components that are going to help me meet a particular classification? Here's our, here's our Windows server, and I'm air quoting right now that you can't see. Now, everything is discovered just as expected, but again, it's still a computer. So if I look at my discovery model here, and I go down to Windows classifiers, we'll see that it caught as a Windows computer because that's the only classifier that has a computer and apologize for my voice. And if we look at this, we see the name starts with Windows. So that's just the generic, hey, if your compute, most likely a desktop operating system, it's going to catch it because that name contains Windows. If you see any of these other ones, they have more specific settings such as, is it a VIP? Does the name contain 2019? So on and so forth. So none of those caught because our new 2022 operating system didn't have those components. And if you're noticing this Windows generic server, <clears throat> pardon me, this is primarily for our agent-based discovery. So it wouldn't necessarily, probably, and we see that it did not catch it. So really, the common sense in us says, hey, I just created another classifier, put the name contains 2022, and add all the components and I should be just fine. But let's look a little bit more into the details of how we learn about what that name is. So within the classification probe, there's a lot of checks that we do when we set classification parameters. And you can see those in the logs when you enable this property, glide.discovery.debug classification, set that to true. Now as you do a fresh discovery, <coughs> that's one of the little hitches I've noticed, it's gotta be a brand new discovery, we're going to be able to get into and see our debug log and everything that it's doing to catch a particular classifier. Now you'll see here, our first one is Windows 2003. 
Well, look at there. Windows 2003, lowest priority, would measure first. And then as we look through our log, we're going to go through all of them, trying to find a match. Now, inside of this, you'll see all of our classification data. So this is all the things that we were able to determine out of the Windows Classify probe that we can actually put in the classification criteria. So if we look at name, we can use the name of it. Or the name, that's name of the host, and this is just classification value of pure name, and we see Windows 2022 standard evaluation. Now, being that this starts with Windows and doesn't contain server, boom, that's why our classify, and we come all the way down to the bottom, and the last one that, that triggers is the last one that caught, and in this case, it's the last classifier that was there. So basically, I have this information that I can use to build my own classifier to trigger on any of these components. Now, I did a while back do um, different community posts around triggering custom probes back when we needed to do that based on this classification criteria. Um, it's around Linux probes and then how I can even manipulate that data. So look back to some of those previous posts to see how you can maybe even add your own classification information so that you can pull this info out. But here I'm going to be dealing with the operating system name, Windows 2022 Standard Edition. So first things first, as I've always loved to say, you know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel because we've already done it. Let's look at the latest operating system, Windows 19 Server. So we see its criteria is VIP equals, is not a VIP. The name contains, so that operating system value name, contains 2019 and the OS full name contains server. And we can also see that OS full name right there. And that does contain server. So I can come here, create new. Now I'm going to do this Windows. Windows 2022 server. I'm going to put it in a Windows server table. I'm going to save this record. And I'm going to set some new criteria, just like we have in our Windows 2019. So is it a virtual IP as part of a cluster? Is VIP is false. Again, something I could pull out of here is VIP is false. And I'm going to save a little insider baseball. And we go name contains. 2022 and we'll insert and stay because we got one more to do and that's OS full name so it's consistent I don't need to do all well I need you'd want to do the VIP this one I think is a little bit extra uh, but hey it's consistent let's stay consistent contain server all right and then we'll insert that record so now we have our classification criteria. So is it a VIP? No. Does the name contain 2022? OS full name contains server. One thing to take note of, my match criteria. I don't want to just match on any of these. I want to match on all. So again, we'll save that record. Now it's time to trigger probes. Well, all I have to do is look at what a great example is. I have to add my application dependency probes, ADM and ADM enhanced installed software and of course our pattern so i'm going to trigger probes they already exist i don't have to build anything new so i go to windows do my installed software application dependency mapping adm and horizontal probe all right there's all of our probes now notice that they're all in the exploration phase now, back in probes and sensors, we would have had uh, the identity probe, which would have been in the ex identity phase. But now with patterns, patterns are our identification and our exploration in a lot of ways. So we want to make sure to change this over to identification so it goes before all these other probes. Now for the pattern, all I have to do is come here, Windows, and there's my OS servers pattern that I know I want to discover with all the out-of-box features and capabilities. So boom, 
there we go. So now I have my classifier. I'm ready to go. We'll update that. And we'll come back down here. I want to show us the list. Boom. So we see our Windows 2022 server. Now I want to put this in the row, make it all nice and pretty. So I'm going to change this to a 270. So now my order, as it goes through, like we saw in the log going step by step, is going to go through all these and eventually get down to 2022 server and then never catch, we'll catch here and never catch in our windows. So I'm going to come to our compute. I'm going to get rid of this bad boy. Now I could just reclassify it, but since I'm in dev and I'm testing and messing around, I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to do a fresh discovery. I'm probably going to pause this for time as this goes through its delete. So, and we're back. So now I'm going to go to my schedules. I'm going to rediscover this bad boy. Come on. You can do it. Everybody's watching. There we go. Got my IP address, discover now. And together we can watch some paint dry, but we're gonna hopefully get, this should go pretty quick. There goes our Shazam, there goes our Windows Classify probe. Again, as that input processes, it's doing all these checks here with all these values trying to catch a particular class. And right now I can tell you it worked perfectly because look what triggered the Windows OS servers pattern. Just like we wanted it to. And now the pattern's running as we would hoped. Pause again for time. Pattern came back. All of our application dependency mapping went out. File-based discovery, installed software, everything's looking fantastic. Come look at our devices. And boom, there we go. I got my Windows 2022 Windows Server in the proper classification table based on the new classifier. Now, one thing to take note is there will come a time, uh, hopefully soon, and I expect soon, that you're going to see a new Windows 2022 uh, Windows classifier here. And all you got to do is just remove yours. Just come in here, delete. And we're going to be doing the same thing that you're seeing here. So when you do have these gaps between what service now, air quote, supports or doesn't support, just try it out. This is what the fun of discovery is. Have a go at discovering it. See what happens. Maybe you have to uh, mess with some classifications pieces here. But you can get rolling in your own environment without having to wait for service now um, to get that technology in there for you. Hope this helps and we'll see you on the community.